Okay, uh, P.S. You actually mentioned uh, that uh, this was basically a whole of government approach, right? So, looking at a recommendation that was actually done by Office of Auditor General, the Ministry should formally submit a Fiji COVID-19 preparedness and response plans to the Cabinet for information and action which may be considered appropriate. Um, was this actually to be done post-COVID or was some, this something that was actually recommended to be done during COVID? And what was the practical situation at that point in time in ground? Was this practical to actually get endorsement by cabinet every now and then looking at the situation that we're actually evolving on a daily basis? Yes, uh, I, I mean, we all understood that uh, a lot of what happened during the time was unprecedented. There was no basic formula for us to work with. Uh, whilst there was a lot of uh, lessons that were coming out from uh, developed countries, my problem was that it was not contextual. A lot of the recommendations coming from, even from WHO, it was highly generic in uh, nature. So, um, for us, really, the, the, a lot of what we took out in our preparedness and response plan was pulled out from generic material that was being given to us from WHO. We worked with WHO co colleagues on this uh, plan and there was a lot of uh, discussions and we kept and they, uh, we did have to, uh, they did ask us to keep things generic because of the fact that uh, there were operational details that we could not clearly see. Um, a lot of the operational details actually changed in the course of implementation. There was initially the idea of community quarantine facilities but the scale of the problem became so bad that we actually had to run to hotels. We had to go to pre-existing facilities. We couldn't, we couldn't keep up food supply. We couldn't keep up all the support mechanisms that are required for good isolation or quarantine facility within uh, normal, within our, within our normal. Uh, so we had to escalate to some uh, some some structures that were pre-existing. Uh, it was thought initially that by doing what we were doing, we were going to be able to manage uh, expenditure better because we were able to track that what we set up, we, we, we managed the, the, we track the expenditure of what we set up in the community. But as I said, it became difficult. So it was within that, within those, uh, within that framework of thinking that it became really difficult for us to articulate exactly what, what was going to be passed by cabinet the detail of what was going to be, we could only give cabinet this generic plan and because cabinet was in our office 10 o'clock almost every morning, presented to them the operational details of how we were implementing the plan, it became a bit of a difficult thing as to, you know, I mean, uh, it just became sounded illogical for me as uh, our general uh, manager at that time, it did not sound logical for me to keep narrating things when the people that I'm supposed to narrate to are already in front of us. Okay. And I'm giving them both uh, the generic formula and the operational details relating to the generic formula. So it became, uh, it was, it was, a, it was basically a muddy field for, in terms of what exactly does it mean that we have, uh, that we have presented to cabinet. What, uh, what is the actual meaning of that, of that sentence in the context of an ongoing, running, unprecedented situation? Thank you.